Okay, so I am standing at the front door here of One Larkspur Court. And we're looking out towards the, the part of the lake that you can see from the house, parking out front. And of course, this is the three bedrooms, 1,600 square feet on our regular 8,400 square foot lot. So without further ado, let's take a look inside. Okay, so you come inside and it's a little bit tight here right at the start. You gotta either go up or go down. Down looks a little, let's turn some lights on down there. Uh, let's check out up first. Okay, nice real hardwood. Okay, nice and open. It's a nice feeling in here. Got the floating freestanding stove. Looks to be a real wood stove. Yep, you got a real wood stove here. That's cool. Updated kitchen with the tile countertops. So pretty minimal backsplash all along the countertops except for here behind the, 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 the range. So you got the propane burners and looks like maybe a downdraft. Open shelving, that's cool. They, they got some really nice modern looking cabinetry. Not a modern looking stove. So that's definitely straight out of 88 when this thing was built. The tiling looks good. Interesting choice of these kind of frosted um, glass fronts. Sort of looks like a closet in a way. Okay. Yeah, the wood looks really good. It's got like a cham chamfered edge here. So it really pops, looks really nice. Okay, a little TV spot here. Of course, you wanna maximize the sunlight coming in through this direction. So here, it's just after 6 p.m. right now, and we're starting to get some of this sunset direct sunlight on the house. Well, it's nice and warm too. It's really, I doubt they've got any sort of AC on right now, but it just feels like very warm and comfortable. Okay, so a small room, definitely just an office. And it's got the glass door too. So yeah, this would just be an office and not a huge one, kind of funky, but a nice view for your office. And while we're here, we might as well check out the front porch. So this is Larkspur right here. So you come in through, well, I came in through gate Let's see, I came in through gate two. So pretty good location. You're on the south side of the lake here. There's a neighbor. Let's see, on this side, there's not really any close by neighbor. On this side, there's a neighbor right here, but you got all this mature landscaping to block the view. You can see a little bit over it in their place on the back side, but it's really not too bad. Exterior of the house looks in really good shape. They must have painted it a couple years back. Okay. So we've got a coat closet here. Okay, sort of hideous track lighting right here. That definitely you'd want to upgrade. Just use some recessed lighting. Maybe it doesn't even work. Okay. So, this must be the primary bedroom. You've got a pocket door. Uh, yes, solid pocket door. Kind of older carpet. Doesn't look terrible. Skylight almost over the bed. Uh, okay, interesting. Those are fun windows on the other side too. Bring a little bit of the outdoors in. Okay, so you've got these kind of pointless curtains here on these little tiny curtain rods. Just be kind of a visual barrier, I suppose, between the two spaces. Armoire and a small walk-in. Realistically, I would probably make this all closet, add some more storage here. Let's see. Okay, so kind of a funky lighting system for the bathroom. And you've got this cool bump out here, so you, oh man, you could really have this be a nice, comfortable spot. And holy smokes, 
That's the biggest jacuzzi tub I've seen in a while. That's a party tub. That's basically a hot tub at this point. I mean, I don't know what the difference is. It's an indoor hot tub. And a vinyl privacy screen on the bump out here so nobody can look in on you while you're taking a bath. Got the single vanity, but nice. Okay, it's the original hardware. They just updated it to look newer, painted it, and put some new poles on. Sink is cool. Interesting countertop surface as well. And then toilet, shower, and another vanity. So, okay, gotcha. So there's the, the pocket door here. So if you wanted to make that section private and then this is accessible for guests. I see, okay, interesting. So side bedroom, this is a really good size bedroom. Yeah, this is super comfortable. Decent size closet. Felt like there was maybe some sort of lip or bump over here. It might just be the carpeting, but it kind of felt like it. Okay. And then laundry room, nice laundry room. With butcher block counter, sink, additional space down here. And I believe the washer dryer stay. I'll double check on that. And then out here to the side, so you've got a little path down to the front and around to the back. Okay, yeah, so there is that house, but you really can't see it unless you're right here. So that's nice. Okay. So that's pretty much the whole main level. Let's go check out the bottom floor. different wood here than right there so at some point there was that update oh wow yeah I don't I didn't notice that uh, corrugated sheet metal on the back of that garage door but that's a fun look okay so this is their gym obviously they've got their mirrors set up and all their weights I don't know why this wall is not framed. I mean, it's framed, but it's not drywalled in. I wonder why. That's obviously a new wall. So they added a wall here for some reason. See what's on the other side. So this was the garage before, obviously. Now it's the sauna room slash workout room, storage for all your outdoor gear and your ski boots. And then another bedroom with a side app case. So that's where that other uh, door down here goes to. The uh, not all those who wander are lost room. Okay, so two small closets. That's a fun bedroom with a side access. That's really kind of neat. And its own bathroom. Oh, wow. Neat. Oh, and a shower. Okay, so this is like another downstairs suite. Kind of like the last one. And... Gosh, that's a really interesting. They decided to go with that angled edge here. Huh, okay. Open shelving. Also interesting that there's this lower, uh, I guess it's board and batten almost, or like wainscoting, and then super tall up on the top. So it's almost like this lower level would be perfect for an Airbnb of some sort. Okay, that's fun. And then here's the workshop. So realistically, I mean, the doors are still here, so you could use this as, as a garage. I don't see any reason not to. So they've obviously need tons of storage for the copious amounts of outdoor gear they've got and the workbench here. Okay. So furnace looks Pretty good. Start up in 07, so what's that? 14 years. It's not on the not on the newer side. Should be fine for a little while. And water heater. I don't see a date. And then here, I don't know if you can see back here, but it's a crawl space. Uh, I don't know if that there's no light. But there it's you can tell, I can tell uh, from my eye that it goes all the way back to that, that little vent back there. Nice ceiling, or not height, 
you know, because it's just a crawl space, but it's lots of space in here, storage space. Okay. Overall, a really cool place. Obviously, the draw is the view of the lake and that upper level with the great ceiling height. I mean, let's check that out again. Take another look at it. Yeah, so this is the front view from the front porch. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet spot to sit there and watch the ducks. There's a trail that goes run right by there and then around the lake. So easy access to trails. There's a little grassy section over there for a little park. Wow, really nice. Hopefully you liked the video. Let me know what you think.